with the movement on Urania's fastball. Breaking ball blasted right field deep and gone. Unbelievable start to this kid's major league career. He wasn't in the league until the 25th of April. 350. center field standing after it not gonna get it bangs off the wall Bellinger's got extra bases not slumping is Bellinger we're here in the fourth inning just a triple away from the cycle and he whacks one into right Stanton missed it ran right by it this could be a triple this could be a cycle around second and he's in there Cody Bellinger, if that's a triple, has the cycle. It glanced off of Stanton's glove. Only the 10th cycle in Dodger history. The last one was Orlando Hudson in 2009. The Rockies, Will Myers would have himself a game first inning. There's a base hit to the opposite field off Tyler Chatwood. Keep that in mind for later on. In the third, still scoreless. Scoreless no longer, though. Myers connects on an RBI double. one nothing Padres. In the sixth, it's that man again. Myers going to the opposite field. Doesn't have enough. It does. His third homer of the season. The Padres. In the eighth, Myers needing just a triple for the cycle. And sure enough, he connects into the gap in left center. Myers rounding second. Bit of a stumble. Will he make it? He does standing up. A cycle for Will Myers, the second. That ball hit high and deep. Pins back. You can put it on the board. Yes. The 2-1. The swing and a shot on the ground. Diving the third baseman. That rolls down into the corner. And Abreu scoots to second in the 1-1. One -one. A swing and a line drive looping. That's a base hit to left field. That's in the gap. And he's going to give it a shot. Keep on going. He's going to go. It? He's going to give it a <laughs> shot. Keep on going. Yes. Yes. The last cycle, Jose Valentin. And Let's see, Ron ready here to deal with Brock Holt leading it off. Fly ball, left field. Johnny Gomes going back. He will play it off the scoreboard, and it gets by him. Holt will pull it up around second base with a double to get the bottom of the first inning started. Line to right, and Brock Holt has a base hit with two outs, his second hit of the day. Fly ball struck well to left field and may grab some wall or not. Up above it for a home run. Opposite field for Brock Holt. His third hit of the day is a home run, and the Red Sox take a 6 2 lead. Three hits in the game for Holt, three for four. He's got himself a double, a single, and a home run. He's a triple shy of hitting for the cycle today. Fly ball headed towards the triangle. This one goes back and it's going to roll around. Heading for third base and trying for the cycle as a run will score will be Brock Holt. He's got the cycle and the Red Sox have a 9-2 lead. The Brock star hits for the cycle. Oh, that's unbelievable right there. 
I mean, you go to the one place of the ball. Place is Pena again at first. And this is lined to right. And he gets Perfect. past to diving Bruce all the way to the wall. Kadire on his way to third. Long throw. Michael got there. Like I said, now two runs. That's a long way. That hit off the last row in front of the concourse. For Kadire, his sixth home run of the year. Smoke to center field by Kadire. Around third, Rutledge, late stop sign. And the bases are loaded up for Nolan Arenado. One and one. Down the line. It may just be. Get the second. Michael Kadire will shut it down. He's got himself a cycle. He said, I want the ball. It will be tough for these hitters to hit it. Cabrera hits that one deep to left field. And that ball is gone! A three-run home run for Melky Cabrera. And the Yankees jump out to a 3-0 lead. Ball here in Chicago. Flying that ball gone out anywhere. 39th RBI of the year. That one is punched out to right field. Die back, still back. Leaps, he can't make the play. One hop up against the wall. Melky's going for two, and he will make it. Dominating stuff that can dominate a lineup with strikeouts. That one is looped in the left center field. Coming on for Sednik, he can't make the play. Alex Rodriguez read it beautifully off the bat. Took off, he scores. It's another hit for Cabrera. Another RBI, and the Yankees lead 6-4. And that one is ripped in the right center field. It's going to be over the head of Jermaine Dye. Melky Cabrera will go for second. Here he's going for three. He's pedaling away. And he is in there with a triple. And the cycle. The first one for the Yankees since 1985. The, uh, the monster yesterday. He homered up on top of it. Up the middle it goes. Benji Molina has another hit. Starting all over again by being out in the bullpen. Benji Molina to right field. That ball taking off a little bit. Looking to get up there. And it's dropped in right field by J.D. Drew. Molina's going to end up at second base. Well, Benji's starting to swing the bat now. He hit the home run. A bullet to third last night. Tonight he's got a hard hit up the middle. And a long ball to right field. It would have been a home run in, all ball, in our ballpark. Benji Molina cranks one into center field. It goes to the track. It goes to the wall. Benji Molina hits it out. A grand slam at Fenway. That trade's looking real good right now. Anderson sliding in to, to make it 5-4. There goes Benji again to center field. Now, could this be a triple? Come on. Benji, get going, kiddo. You Come got on, Benji. you got Come the cycle, on, big guy. Get there. Get there. Get there. He did it. <laughs> Pigs have flown in Boston, Massachusetts. The one pitch. Off the end of the bat to the right side. Justin Smoke's gonna have a foot race with Aaron Harang, and that is a hit field base hit. Well, once you see Justin Smoke commit to making that play and Harang getting off the mound, you knew there was a good opportunity for Mike Trout to heat. And that is driven out toward right center field. Saunders giving chase. That ball slicing away from him. It's beyond his reach. Trout on his way to second. He's not going to stop there. Ibar scores the throw to third. Not in time. An RBI triple. Seven nothing Angels. That is ridiculous speed for Trout. The ball was hit well and played well by Saunders in center field. Another good approach. Fastball and hit well the other way. Here's the first one. That is pulled down the left field line, and that is going to clear the bases. Two runs are in. Here comes Brendan Harris. It is a 10-0 Angels lead. And Mike Trout on his way. The potential cycle. That swing through that fastball in the inner half. This one out toward right center field. This one's got a chance. Saunders is back at the wall. Mike Trout! 12 nothing Angels, and congratulations on the cycle. And 
No, nothing surprised me. But Mike, Mike <laughs> you want to ask me again? <laughs> Cycle for the first time in the majors. You called it, Mark. Oh, how exciting. Yeah, you just step up. You're in a 2-0 count. In the 1-2. Belted to left center field. Revere going back, still going back at the track, at the wall, and he, uh, he dropped the ball. The ball came out of his glove when he hit the wall. Hamilton will score. Beltre going to third. He's in with a head first slide, and the Rangers lead one to nothing. Off the uh, wall right in front of the Twins dugout, and a bullpen, and he lines one down the left field line. That'll score Kinsler. Beltre not stopping at first. He's going to second. The throw is late. And Adrian Beltre, a double and a triple, another RBI. The Rangers lead five to nothing. Did you know a long look in? Now the right-hander goes to the wind, the 2-2 pitch. Hammer to left field. Going back and looking up is Dumet. Goodbye. Adrian Beltre, a solo home run, his fifth in the last three games. And the Rangers lead seven to nothing. And he has it, a base hit to right field. Adrian Beltre with the cycle for the Rangers. The fans knew that. Look at them all. They jumped up the minute that ball went into right field. And a ground ball base hit to left field. So Matthews goes the other way. Leadoff single for Texas. Well, Matthews had a pretty good idea that uh, he was going to get another fastball away. Slice to left center field, base hit. Going to get a run in. Kinsler with a two out single will come around to score the throw into second is not in time and Gary Matthews Jr. Singles are making doubles in a run putting it all together this year the 2 2 is right back up the middle into center that's his third hit this thing's going to roll all the way to the wall in center field Granderson able to cut it off Matthews will go for three and he is in sliding with a triple. They are down seven to three. First pitch swinging is Gary Matthews Jr. He hits it deep to center field, and that ball is gone—a home run. And it's the cycle for Gary Matthews Jr. But these are the type of situations that you have to zone in on a hitter, on a pitcher like Oliveras. Hit deep to right field and back to the wall is Barroa. It is gone—a two-run shot. <laughs> And the Yankees have tied it at four. He's been struggling all day. Well struck into right field. They're going to wave Stanley around third. Barroa will not make a throw. And the Yankees now lead at 7-5. And Fernandez has picked up his third RBI of the game. Yeah, well yeah. hit past the first baseman. Grosius down the right field line. Extra bases once again for Fernandez. He's going around second. He'll make it to third. And Tony Fernandez with a home run, a single, and now a triple. And hits what down the left field line on the run is Javier off the wall. Fernandez around first. He'll go to second. And we have a man who has hit for the cycle in Tony. And he shoots one on the line. Pass come on. Crawford scores. Longoria scores. Ball's going to go to the wall. Kansas City, I, I, I got to give it to him. There's a shot back into deep left center field. Well hit, Harrison on the run, off the wall. Upton into second with a stand-up double. Well, BJ has a triple and now a double. Upton over the Tigers in the eighth. Hey, there's a drive into right center field. That ball's well hit, and he's gone. Home run into right center field. BJ Upton hits his 11th home. One, two, and there's a line drive and a base hit in the right. Kapler's going to score, and B.J. Upton has hit for the cycle, driving in his sixth run of the night. And it's hit hard out to right center. Mabry stayed with it as Marvin Freeman hung the ball a bit about belt high. John Mabry didn't pull off the ball, Alley just took it right back from where it came. Gaetti is homered, and Mabry rips one down the line. Another one two pitch and Mabry's two for two thinking about a double Bichette gets it back in it is a double he's already pulled two through the right side he hits this one to center 
Walker going back at the wall over his head. Gaetti will try to score. Here comes Gaetti. He will score. Mabry ends up at third. It's an RBI triple, and it's 4-1 to one St. Louis. And now Mabry lacks only the home run to hit for the cycle. 2-0. There's a drive to right center, out toward the gap, and the ball is gone. It's the cycle for Mabry.